Well now in this video we're going to look at the TLE 2426 virtual ground rail splitter and uh, what it does is that uh, normally in electronics we use a single power supply which means we have a positive and a negative right there we call it negative ground zero volts and the positive is the voltage difference right there and I actually have it set to 18 volts right now we consider that 18 and uh, that night what this does is it takes the full voltage and outputs half of that voltage and doesn't matter what the voltage coming in is as long as it's 4 to 40 volts according to the data sheet you'll get half of the voltage right here and then we call this ground and then we will have a more positive voltage and a more negative voltage each one of them half of the total voltage so I will uh, turn the multimeter on we have 18 volts at the main power supply right now as you can see 18 volts I actually have it a tad bit higher right here because we lose a little bit of voltage along the way with the wires and then I have the current limited to 20 milliamps of current the data sheet says that uh, you can sync or source 20 milliamps of current with the uh, output right here so we will uh, look in relationship to ground here so you put the black probe where ground is when you want to know the voltage in relationship to ground and there you can see we got positive 9 volts right there and uh, out of 18 total and then at the uh, negative supply now we have negative 9 volts in relationship to ground now we can sync or source current through the output here so we'll look at that really quick I have a red LED here since we're only dealing with 9 volts positive or negative we have a 1000 ohm resistor even though we have 18 volts at the rail so first let's uh, use the output to sync I mean to source current where uh, we'll have the output more positive than the final part of the load and it doesn't matter which one we did first but in case long lead the anode to that jumper short lead the cathode down one row we'll take the one kilo ohm resistor and go to the negative supply and you can see that the LED lights up so right now we have in relationship to our virtual ground right here so right now it is uh, the uh, source of current so but that is our ground you can see that we got a negative voltage on the other side of the load right there so it is the source now if I turn the LED around here you're gonna see it does not light up because it's reverse bias I have it uh, backwards right now but if I move the uh, one kilo ohm resistor to the uh, positive rail right here I'll try not to block the view now you can see that it lights up so again our ground is the output of the uh, integrated circuit there that looks like a transistor it's in the TO92 package so it looks exactly like a transistor but it's actually an integrated circuit there's a lot of circuitry now you can see we got a positive voltage in relationship to our virtual ground right there right now the output is sinking current and really quickly we'll look at a polarity indicator so in relationship to ground we have the resistor the more positive supply the red LED is lit up the blue LED here is wired in the opposite direction it also has a lower uh, forward voltage though so even if we did wire it in the same way it's not going to light up the uh, red LED is stealing all of its current but in any case let's turn it uh, back uh, this way right here and uh, we'll look at the power supply you can see we got six milliamps of current right there I'm going to move the resistor from the uh, red row here to the uh, blue row and now the blue LED is lit up we went from six milliamps to five milliamps because again the blue LED does not uh, uh, conduct at as low of a voltage as the red LED so it blocks a little extra voltage there you can see a blue supply again if I have it in the other way neither one of them are gonna light up so now for the diagram I also put some uh, battery examples here so 9 volt batteries are a nice battery to use if you do not have a power supply and uh, you can just get a battery snap with little wires and with the 9 volt battery the uh, positive one you'll consider 9 volts and uh, the black one the negative side of the battery you'll consider ground zero volts but what you can also do is connect them in series and uh, then you'll have 18 volts across 
the uh, two batteries right there and uh, if you instead take where they connect and consider that to be ground then you'll have positive 9 volts and uh, negative 9 volts in relationship to ground right there so with just one battery alone all the ground does is sink current you consider conventional current positive moving to negative and uh, if you have two of them in series you declare ground is the middle then it can sink current like that or it can be the uh, source of current like that it can go either way as we saw with the blue and the red LED so here is the uh, integrated circuit that looks like a transistor TLE 2426 I don't think it actually says TLE on it I think it has some other letters I can't remember but uh, it looks like when I look at pictures from uh, sellers that uh, it's just universally some different letters but in any case generally it's referred to as TLE 2426 left pin is out middle pin is common right pin is in so the in pin is to the positive side of the power supply right there the common pin goes to the negative side of the power supply right there so we got 18 volts our output it sets to half of that voltage and uh, so 9 volts technically but if we declare that to be ground 0 volts we got positive 9 volts up there and negative 9 volts down there so in any case that's about it hope you enjoyed the video make sure you check out one of the other ones I'm posting to the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot I'll see you in the next video